Hello everyone. Today we will start class 10th science chapter 1, chemical reactions and equations. Before we start the chapter, we should know how to make chemical formula. Now to make a chemical formula or to write a chemical formula, you should know the symbols of the elements. Like hydrogen can be written as H, helium can be written as He, lithium can be written as Li, beryllium Be, boron B, carbon C, nitrogen N, oxygen O. Now these seems to be very familiar to you, right? You have been learning this from your lower classes. Fluorine F, neon N, E, sodium N, A, magnesium N, G, Si, silicon, Al, aluminium and so on. All these are the symbols that will help you to write a chemical formula. Now, other than these symbols of the elements, you should know the symbols of ions. Actually, I should say you ought to learn this table. This is very important if you want to learn how to write a chemical formula. Now, ions means what? Like if I say sodium, okay? If I am saying sodium, I will write in A. Now, if I say sodium ion, so I will write in A plus. Got it? The sign plus has come. Now, if I write chlorine, CN is the symbol for chlorine. Now, if I say chlorine ion, chlorine ion is known as chloride. And I will write Cl minus. So, when you see a plus sign over a symbol, a minus sign with the symbol, that means we are talking about ions. Positive sign means what? Positive sign means that element has lost an electron. A negative sign means what? The element has gained an electron. Lost means given. How to remember? Now, lost means plus and uh, gain means minus. See, sodium has given. Means this element has given. De diya. Isne daan kar diya. De diya kisi ko. Isliye dene wala kon? Positive banda. Hai na? So, this, it has given an electron. So, it's positive. So, positive ion. P, positive. Now, negative ion is ne le liya, is ne chheen liya usse electron. Hai na? To chheen liya madlab e negative hai. To negative, the one who lost or has given will attain a positive ion. And the one who has gained an electron, taken an electron, will attain a negative ion or a negative sign on it. So, the elements with positive Charge or positive ions are known as cations. And the elements with the negative charge or negative ions are known as anions. Clear? Easy? Already done in ninth. Now let's see in this table. Now here are some symbols for ions which we'll be using in this chapter for making or writing chemical formula. Sodium is Na+, potassium K+, silver Ag+. Now look here, copper 1 and copper 2. This means copper is Cu is the symbol. 1 means 1 positive charge. Here, 2 positive charge, 2 plus 1, 1 positive charge, 2 2 positive charge. 2 electrons are lost here and here. For here, 1 electron is given. Next, magnesium 2 plus, calcium 2 plus, zinc Zn plus. Now again, look here. Iron 2. That means Fe 2 plus. And iron 3. Fe 3 plus. Okay. These are positive elements. Ions. So, these are cations. Now, let's see here. Hydrogen with H plus. Hydride H minus. 
chloride cl minus bromide br minus iodide i minus and so on now when you learn this table be careful like here it is sulfide fide and if you see here this is sulfite sulfate so be careful while reading the name when you are writing a chemical formula you should read the name properly because sulfide sulfite sulfate all have different formulas uh, symbols now similarly here nitride is nh n3 minus whereas nitrate nitrate is no3 minus so this table is very important learn it by heart okay now after this let's try to write some chemical formulas by ourselves let's write the chemical formula for hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride now what is the symbol for hydrogen h plus chloride cl minus now here also with h there is one ion and here also one minus so what will happen the number of this will get one will come here the charge one charge with chlorine will come here so it will become h1 and cl1 both are one one so the formula will become hcl next let's try one more hydrogen sulfide hydrogen again we have h plus sulfide so here it should be sulfide 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 means s2 minus now you see from here also we can check from the table right uh, let's see where is your hydrogen hydrogen is here on the table h plus right then sulfide here s2 minus so you should learn this table okay let's continue now s here with hydrogen you have one charge and for sulfide you have two charges negative charges so only the numbers will get exchanged ions will remain there this plus sign will remain with hydrogen this minus sign will remain with this s only the numbers will get exchanged here one will come here and this two will come here so what will become h2 s hydrogen sulfide now let's practice one more that is aluminium oxide let's write aluminium oxide now aluminium the symbol for aluminium ion is al3 plus and that of oxide is o2 minus now again this number will get exchanged 3 will go to o and this 2 will come to al so what how you will write the formula al2 o3 so this is aluminium oxide let's try one more that is calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide now the symbol for calcium is ca2 plus hydroxide is o h minus o h minus now you see this is something interesting now here it has only one negative charge here it is two two this one will come here now this two will go with o or with h it will go with both so how you are going to write c a now o h will get inside the bracket and 
two will be written here like this. So it will, how you will read it? C A O H twice. Okay. Let's practice one more. Calcium oxide. Calcium oxide. Now calcium is C A two plus oxide is O two minus. Now you see both are same. Two two numbers. So how you will write? C A two. This two will come here. Two will go there, and it will become two same same numbers. Will get cancelled, and you will get C A O. Clear? I think now you can write the chemical formula very easily. Let's practice few more examples. Like here, magnesium oxide. Let's write magnesium M G. Two plus oxide is what O two minus. Now two two same numbers will get exchanged. So M G O. Next is lead nitrate. Now lead the symbol for lead is P B two plus and for nitrate it's N O three minus. Now what will happen? This one will come here, and this two will be shared by NO three. So how you will write PB NO three twice? PB NO three twice. Let's write next one: zinc sulfate. Zinc is what? Zinc is Zn two plus. And how is sulfate written? Sulfate is SO four two minus. Now again the two and two same. So what how how to write Zn SO four? Clear. Next is sodium chloride. Now this is very simple. Sodium is Na plus. Chlorine is Cl minus. So the formula will become NaC. L sodium chloride. Next, iron sulfate. Iron is Fe two plus sulfate SO four two minus. Again the same numbers, so we will get Fe SO four iron sulfate. Let's try the sixth one. Calcium hydroxide. Calcium is C A two plus. Hydroxide is O H minus. Now these numbers will get exchanged. The number of ions will get exchanged. Remember, ions will remain there. Plus and minus ions will remain there. That will not get exchanged. Only the numbers will get exchanged. So what will happen here? C A O H twice. Right now, water eight one water is very, you know, very well H two O. Now the seventh one, ninth and tenth. This is for your homework. Try it by yourself and write the answers in the comment box. Okay, fine. Now here are some more common formulas that we'll be using in the chapter. Now water. No need to say. H two O. Been learning from the lower classes. Next is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is written as H two S O four. Quicklime. Quicklime is the common name for calcium oxide. Common name for calcium oxide. So how you are going to write calcium oxide? C A O. Calcium oxide. How you will get this calcium oxide? You know, C A two plus and oxide is what O two minus. So these numbers will get exchanged and will get cancelled because both two two C A O. Calcium oxide. Next is slaked lime. Is the common name for Calcium hydroxide. 
common name for calcium hydroxide what is that calcium hydroxide how we got this calcium is what ca2 plus hydroxide is oh minus now these numbers will exchange and we'll get ca o h twice calcium hydroxide common name slate line glucose glucose is c6 h12 o6 is glucose next is calcium carbonate its common name is limestone and the chemical name is calcium carbonate and common name is limestone how we are going to write this calcium carbonate it's c a c o 3 how we got this let's try calcium is c a 2 plus and carbonate is c o 3 2 minus c o 3 2 minus not 2 2 numbers will get cancelled hence we get c a c o 3 so water is what h 2 o sulfuric acid is h 2 so 4 calcium oxide is c a o calcium hydroxide slaked lime c a o h twice glucose is c 6 h 12 o 6 calcium carbonate common name is limestone c a c o 3 clear i think now you are perfect with this we can easily write and if you want to practice more you can check this the question number seven and eight from your ncrt here they wrote write balanced chemical equation we are not going to balance and we are not going to write the chemical equation right now because we are going to do in the next part of the video and here we will just write the chemical formulas let's try few of them the here barium chloride Let's try barium chloride. Now, barium is what? Ba. The symbol for barium ion is Ba2 plus. Chloride is Cl minus. Now, this 2 will come here, 1 will come here, and we will get BaCl2. BaCl2. Let's try one more like, okay, silver nitrate. Silver is. A G plus and nitrate nitrate N O three minus and so we will get A G N O three A G N O three okay let's pick one from eighth question also uh, which one we should do okay barium iodide barium is ba2 plus iodide is i minus let's exchange the numbers so we we'll get ba i2 and i think now you are ready to write any chemical formula given to you next part of the chapter i will take in the next video till then practice it and bye Thank you. 